And right now at five, Hostess Brands is shutting down, closing plants and laying off all of its 18,000 workers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Connor. I'm Erica Fly. 850 of those jobs are right here in Indiana. The company has plants in Columbus and Indianapolis. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas is live on the east side with reaction from workers. Derek? Erica, some of these workers are angry, some are just numb. They say this place was mismanaged and they had given back enough. Closing down, locking the gate. It's not just about the product. It's about the 300 union employees in Indianapolis who made those products. They say they rejected Hostess's demand that they take an 8% pay cut because they had given and given before. There's a limit. And when they said the 8% cut and they wasn't even going to negotiate our contract, you know, they was treating us like we was just walking off the street. And meanwhile, the ones up top was taking 300% raises and acting like we was losing money. The workers also have grievances about their final paychecks. Vernon Crittenden has worked at the facility for 20 years and says he is owed $600. It's a bad taste in our mouth. You know, we, we give them everything we can give them. We come to work when they want us to come to work. We never cost them any money. You know, so why do they want to hold our money for? I don't understand. Financial analysts say the Twinkie brand is coveted and that product will surface somewhere else. But what happens to these workers who have toiled at this plant for decades? I think what this is going to mean probably for the workers is that they're going to be out of jobs permanently and I believe those jobs are not going to come back. If the company or if someone buys the Twinkie brand, in effect, they'll go with a non-unionized labor force. Employee John Smith understands his situation and is moving on. The future here is, um, is pretty much done, but my future is beginning somewhere else outside the 22 years of service that I have dedicated and sacrificed uh, with this company. Now, security is on the scene here 24 hours a day. There have been no incidents here today, but... Who knows what the future holds for these workers here? Erica? All right, Derek Thomas reporting live on the east side. Thank you, Derek.